HIV prevention. Some might say it's a good problem to have, aging with HIV. Not all that long ago, it wasn't possible. The virus was a death sentence. I'm going to keep on moving. I'm not going to let this stop me. It's been a long battle. Z. Turner is 53 and attending the International AIDS Conference in Washington, D.C. She has kept her HIV under control for nearly 24 years. More and more patients like her who have been in treatment for decades are living into their 60s and beyond. The CDC says a third of the 1.2 million Americans now infected are over 50. But growing older with HIV comes with added complications. Many of these people are getting diseases that are related to the ill effects that you get from being infected so long with or without medications. Uh, cardiovascular disease, liver disease, renal disease. Dr. Anthony Fauci says HIV survivors seem to deal with age-related health issues earlier and in higher numbers than those not fighting the virus, but more research is needed to understand why. So it's almost created a new subspecialty of medicine. Both HIV and the medications to suppress it appear to take a long-term toll on the body. I have neuropathy from um, the virus attack on my nerve endings. Turner's doctors say HIV caused nerve damage in her legs and painful arthritis in her hips. Your body is really 10 years older and you know the doctors explained that to me that this is normal. Now Turner works in therapies for other conditions on top of her daily HIV regimen. I got to see the kidney doctor, the liver doctor, the um, Neurologist. Despite the added aggravation, Turner says it's clearly better than the alternative. In the beginning, I never thought I would see my kids graduate high school. I'd have seen them graduate high school. I'd have seen them graduate college. She plans to work until age 65 and then enjoy retirement. Ross Simpson, The Associated Press.